Hi and welcome everybody to Magic Farm 2 Season 2 where we're going to look at Thormacraft, Blood Magic and Mistcraft. Now in the last episode we showed you how to make your Thanomicron but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give now a link to another YouTube channel of if you want to um, have a look how to get started in Thormacraft 4.1 it's a very good channel it's where I learned a lot of my stuff and it's by a guy called iTempo TV Lee and he's very good he doesn't quite do a let's play series he tells you how to get things and how to do things they're more instructional as as I see them whereas I'm going to do the actual let's play and you're going to see how hard it is to get some of the items okay so without further ado if you want to go and learn a little bit more go to iTempo TV Lee's channel again like I said they're very good um, instructional videos and we're going to get on now what we're going to do is now that you've got your thermon on com right click open and the first thing is we need a table because we need to make a research table and we need to make an arcane workbench so those are the things that we're going to do now to make the table it's quite easy two blocks of any wood and three half blocks so hopefully we have in our inventory wood and I'm using jungle wood for this okay so we're just going to make a couple of slabs now we are going to need um, three tables okay um, so let's just make um, eight legs or eight so one two three one two three okay and those across there and you can see we get the table the tables okay <coughs> so we're going to put the table down we're going to put it next to the crafting bench and the next thing that you do is you get your wand and you right click and there you go that is your um, workbench this is your let me just escape get the right name your arcane work table and if you go up here you can see that your iron capped one and wand is there and if you press shift it shift I believe no it's not going to tell me what the aspects are so if we take it out at the moment and you you can see at the top left hand corner of what you've got if you press shift you can see that you've got some very small amounts of stuff and I actually don't believe we've got anything in I did manage to get it to work so it told me what was in there um, but at this this time it's it's not working for me okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make the writing desk we're going to leave the wand in the table because we don't need it at the moment so what we're going to need now is next to it you've got the two tables there now to do this, if you look in the Thurman uh the research table, you need two tables and a scribing tools, which is a clay, glass files, ink, and a feather. Now, the glass files, really easy to make. Um, let's go and show you the recipe. Okay, three, three, three glass piece of clay and we get eight we go back and black dye and a feather okay so we we're gonna go and get the bits and pieces for those and we'll jump off here now we do have I believe shears somewhere we're gonna be looking for feathers as well because I don't have any chickens at this moment so we will there we go we only need one feather because once you've made them um, that's it they're made 
Just have a look, see if we've got any ink handy. Uh, no. We haven't got any shears, I'll just quickly make some. Um, we're going to need paper. We'll take that, we need that as well. Whoops, one one. Just quickly looking for any of the stone or any of the bits and pieces that I may or may have lost. We're going to take the, the helmet. Okay, there's more paper there. Okay, we're going to put the helmet on. Okay, we haven't got the um, shears. I must have lost those. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is get two bits of iron. This is why we really need to get our um, stuff sorted out. Uh, we're going to go to our sheep. First of all, we're going to make the shears. Okay. Okay, it's a bit dark. No, I'm not, I'm not too worried about this um, because we've got a nice... Um, a nice sword now. Okay, we've we've got we've got a creeper over there, so let's go kill him. Now, if you can be lucky to try and get him before he explodes, then uh, do try and do that. As you can see, we built a sheep farm. We've got a double entry door. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is we've made them black now to make your sheep black. Go find a squid and put the ink sack onto the sheep and this will turn him black, okay? Now, you're wondering why, well, how do we get black, how do we get ink sacks from black wool? Now, this is actually quite a nice thing that's been brought in because I don't think it was done before. Okay, we've got another zombie in chain now. Okay, so we've done that there. So we're going back out. And you can see a lot of bits and pieces where I've explored. And we had a little bit of lag there, so I do apologise for that. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to go and take take the wall that we've got into our pulverizer. Because what happens with the pulverizer, okay, is you just dump your wool in there. And black wool will give you lots of nice string and hopefully we will get an ink sack from black wool and is it going to do anything there we go we only need one at this point in time okay uh, we're lucky enough we've got two i think that's all of it and for those guys that are interested in food if you put brown wool in you have the lucky enough chance of getting cocoa beans which you can make into um, seed pods to get cookies so we need to sleep you will be going out in the dark a lot lot more um, in this um, thermocraft because we need to go and find nodes and the best way to find nodes is in the dark Okay. always be careful when you come out especially when you've got monsters coming around like that okay something's just hit me okay it's it's oh, skeleton skeleton there okay we don't really want to battle him we want to keep away from him let him burn as much as possible but he is in the way So we are going to try 
get closer to him. As you can see, with a decent sword, yeah, you do kill them quite quickly, even though we are poisoned. <coughs> so we're going to go and kill this spider. <laughs> I think we actually now got one life steal. Let's have a quick look. Let's just make sure I've got the um, stuff on the right side. Entry recipe mode, yeah, okay, back, back. Okay. So I thought it was that. Okay, there we go. It should us with a strange energy one life steal. So we've got one life steal now. And that's because we are using a broadsword. Okay. So just in case you guys wanted to know we are using the broadsword. And I believe we forgot to get the clay and the glass. How stupid. Okay. We got another attacker there. Oh, we got an ender pearl there. That will come in handy. Um, clay. Where's clay? Okay. Okay guys, I'm going to pause the game here a minute and I'm going to go and find some clay and I will be back shortly. Hi everybody and welcome back and you can um, see that you can make the uh, glass vials in um, a normal crafting table and hopefully I've got three glass, yes, and you can also make them in the arcane workbench. Okay. So either one will do, but it's best to have both. So now that we got we got that, you just put your um, glass vial in, your feather, and your ink sack. Now it doesn't matter where they are on the table; it's just automatically done. Okay, so you get your scribing tools, and what you do now is you right click on the two tables and there you have your research table now in this research table these are the basic elements that you've got okay you start off with um, random amounts we haven't got too too, um, too many that aren't too bad but you've got to be careful these don't regen very very quickly but we are going to show you a way how to do this and to get the best out of it you need to keep the tree farm going okay so that's a hint that if you haven't got one get one made okay so what we're going to now do is we're going to look at our thermo a thermonomicon or i'm going to start referring it to spell book okay and we're going to have a look what do we need next and basically we need to get a thermometer okay right that is the next thing we need okay and you can see it's two gold bars one bit of glass and any two shards okay now the reason we need this is because we need to get our aspects up okay these things so we've got a piece of glass we haven't got any gold yet so I'm just going to nip down and go and get a piece of gold. Now you will in the magic be using a lot of gold. Okay, so you haven't got a lot of gold. Um, like I haven't got a lot of gold at the moment. It's going to be extremely difficult to um, do. We're actually going to go and pick up our bed. I don't know why it keeps doing that, it does do that sometimes, so I do apologise. Pick up the bed. 
I will probably make another bed. A little bit of safety around here. Just put the sword on just in case we meet any monsters. Okay. I'm just going to get the bed. And put the bed down there. And go to sleep. Now, I have noticed that if there's no monsters around, even when it's dark, when you go to sleep, you don't get that. Okay. So that is another nice thing um, to know. So we go to our arcane workbench. Just remember, two gold, one piece of glass, and two pieces of shard. Now I recommend you use the shards that you have a lot of. Okay, and we take the Thormacraft. And we have this, this thing and basically what you do is you point it at something and right click you see we've got two stone and it went up to the top right hand corner now if we look at oh, let's just get out of this at our research table you can see now we've got two stone okay well we actually got four stone so what you do is you spend a couple of minutes okay we can't get nothing out of copper we get anything out of bed oh to get stuff out of items press shift then scan the bed okay same with the furnace and the crafting table okay and it will come up and it will let you know whether you can research it or not okay things like oak wood so you can't really do much at the moment okay because we haven't really got a lot of experience <coughs> okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to look at what we've got and we're going to say well what do we need now now we're going to do our first research okay and our first research we're going to look at the Thumnomicon just need to put it back in the inventory slot uh, we're gonna look um, at the goggles of revealing I think are we gonna start off with no we're not gonna go off with the goggles of revealing we're gonna go with the, the main thing and we're going to go off with research expertise now to to do this you need to open your table take the coil out make sure you've got the scribing tools and paper in your inventory right click open the book and you'll see if you've got the items in your inventory it will let you get a research note okay left click on that okay and it will show you that it's added to your inventory okay so that is the first one that we're going to do you now put that one into your paper up there and it will show you that you've got no ink because you've got no scribing tools that goes away as you put the sooner scribing calls in and these two question marks means we haven't got the resources to um, go ahead and find out what the stuff is so what you need to do is if you go to iTempo TV Lee, go and watch his second episode, I believe it is, and he tells you how to go and get um, all the resources. Now I'm going to spend a couple of couple of minutes just throwing stuff out on the floor and scanning them. So I'm going to pause the game here and um, well, in actual fact, I'm not going to pause the game. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to go away and scan all the items that we can and scan everything in your inventory okay just get there scan it and see what we get okay so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode I will see you next episode when we actually make our, our first um, our first spell if you want to call it so this is HMK signing off have fun, hope you enjoyed this, stay safe and I'll see you for the third episode next time, bye for now.